an action potential is a local event on a membrane. That is, the cell doesn't instantly become positive on the inside relative to a negative exterior when stimulated. This depolarization and even hyperpolarization occurs only at the point of stimulation, say by a nerve cell, or if you're doing it with a power supply artificially, just at the location where you apply this jolt of electricity. So it's a local phenomenon. Having said that, however, that local depolarization or hyperpolarization can be propagated. So the nerve cell we saw before, we saw a cartoon of a part of a nerve cell, it didn't show you what was happening at the other end of that axon, in fact, in what's called the cell body of the cell, which probably received a signal from another nerve cell, a depolarization signal, which was then propagated along the axon until it reached the nerve ending. So here we have a, a cartoon of a region of the axon. And if a depolarization were to be propagated, that means it's traveling from one end of the exon to the other, to the nerve ending. And so we see here on the left a depolarization, which is being propagated along the axon eventually to reach the other end. And let's just look at this one more time. It's being propagated as these ion channels open and close and inactivate, open and close and inactivate in sequence. And that's how a, an action potential can be propagated once it's produced at one single point on a cell, propagated along the membrane, along the axon in this case, until it reaches the nerve ending, where that electrical impulse stimulates voltage-gated channels to do their thing. So these are voltage-gated channels that lie along the axon, and they respond to traveling potential difference by cycling through those three conformational states I pointed out before. And they do this, again, until that hyperpolarized signal reaches the synapse at the nerve ending.